Today, I am very grateful because I had a friend that went to Japan just a couple of weeks ago, and I asked her if she would be willing to pick up a few items for me from a Sailor Moon exhibition of the art book that happened in Tokyo, as well as a big clamp exhibition. Now, if you are familiar with Magic Knight Ray Earth, Card Captor Sakura, Chobits, there's all sorts of really good ones. X, Wish, Clover. I love Clamp so much, and I've loved all of their manga and all of their anime that they have come out with as a production company since the early 1990s. And given that Clamp recently announced that there's going to be a brand new Magic Knight Ray Earth anime, yes, it's true, that was a big announcement, I was pretty stoked to bring that back into my life. So I have a box of goodies from Japan from these specific exhibitions that you could only find in person. Now, given that my friend was picking up these items for me, most of the items that I got are stationary or flat items like posters and postcards and things of that nature. I didn't want to take up a lot of space and I was trying to be very thoughtful about that when I was picking and choosing items for her to pick up. Hopefully we'll see some of these items available online and not through scalpers because these are really gorgeous items and I really hope they make them available to the general public as opposed to just people who were able to go to Tokyo. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, she went to the Sailor Moon art book exhibition. Now, if you've been on my YouTube channel for the last few months, you have seen a flip through and a review of the brand new Sailor Moon art book, which I also have sitting behind me. But at this special art book exhibition in Tokyo, they had a whole bunch of limited edition posters and these are the Aurora style posters, just like you could get at the Sailor Moon Traveling Museum that I went to in Osaka. However, they have different artwork. So there are five new pieces of art and each and every single one of these posters is absolutely beautiful. So the first one that we have here, of course, is the front of the art book. So it's the same exact artwork that you could see on the front of the art book. The second one, of course, is the outer Sailor Guardians, and this is the back of the art book. So we have a nice big print of that backing, and it's gorgeous. I love this piece. It's so beautiful. Then we have three different gorgeous ones from the manga. So this one is actually the front of one of the original art books from the 1990s. So I was really excited to be able to own this piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that the whole thing is very shiny and holographic and the artwork is very vibrant. The colors of their hair pop really well and altogether, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. This, of course, is one of our favorite pieces of art. I really like that this one encompasses the entire piece of cardstock or this entire piece of Aurora poster stock. So you get this gorgeous quality to it where you see all of the Sailor Guardians in really, really large print. And I love how they made different pieces of it super shiny. Like even their nails glow. Look at Chibiusa's nails and how they kind of shine whenever I kind of move it around in the lighting. It looks really cool. It's such a beautiful piece. I think this is one of my favorites. And lastly, we have this gorgeous piece of Usagi or Princess Serenity, and we have Prince Endymion or Mamoru. This one matches the other poster from the museum so well, like back to back or side by side, they would look so perfect next to each other. They just look like they're from the same series. So I'm really excited to be able to display them side by side and kind of create a gallery wall, I think that would be really, really pretty. Now, currently these are only available at that artwork exhibit that happened in Tokyo, and these run 5,500 yen with tax. And there we have the total. There were also a few new clear files that were announced at this exhibition. One of these is one of my favorite pieces of art. And when I saw this in the art book, I was like, man, I would love to have a nice blown up tapestry or a poster of this piece of art. I felt like this would look amazing on an Aurora poster. We didn't get an Aurora poster, but we did get a clear file. So this is one of my favorite pieces of original art from Naoko Takeuchi. It features all of the different Sailor Guardians in these really cute, like tropical looking swimsuits. And I love the background, the gradient. I love how it looks like a sunset. I love the palm tree. And I really like that each of them is styled 
very uniquely when it comes to their swimsuits. It is a little shiny, so I'll try to show you up close what each of these Sailor Guardians looks like on here, because it really is quite a beautiful clear file. Now the back of this clear file only has a little bit of writing on it. It just says Sailor Moon, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Raison, is that how you say it? Raisonne? Artworks 1991 to 2023 Publication Exhibit. Uh, sorry, I don't speak French and I always get those pronunciations a little incorrect, so don't mind me. I speak Japanese, not French. <laughs> and then we have this gorgeous piece, which is also a clear file. This one features Princess Serenity. And again, we have this really beautiful purple and pink gradient, and we have this very cool filigree around the edges. It looks like she's standing on the moon. We have the earth in the background, kind of up in the sky, and then we have this very ethereal, angelic looking Princess Serenity on the moon. Now these clear files were 660 yen, so very inexpensive, especially right now with the conversion rates. So there was not a whole lot of unique items available at this exhibit, just a few items, of course, as I said before, but these were some really beautiful postcards that I also wanted to pick up. There are three different sets. There were also some limited edition ones that you could only get at specific times if you go to the exhibit. I did end up purchasing those through a reseller on Zen Market. However, they're not here yet. So whenever those do come in, I'll be able to show you those too. They also had some acrylic little keychains that were super adorable. I did pick up those as well. So each of these postcard sets are 1760 yen. That's 1,760. And again, they were only available at the exhibit. One other thing they had available at the exhibit that was sold out when my friend went was these really cool postcard holders. They were like little booklets that you could put postcards in. Since I have been collecting a lot of postcards lately, I did want to grab one of those. So I did get one of those off Zen Market as well. Now, if you are curious about Zen Market and how to purchase like third party items, secondhand items from Japan using this website, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to make a tutorial. And I think I do have like a sign up coupon code that I can recommend too. So if you want a link to that, just let me know down below. I like how each of these postcard sets is displayed because they have this really pretty like shiny little border down at the bottom kind of holding them in place. And it's very pretty. It's almost like a translucent paper that they are on. However, you can slide that off and then you have access to your postcards. So here's the first four. Of course, we have this gorgeous piece of artwork of Sailor Uranus right there. These are matte style postcards, so they are not super shiny, especially when I hold them up to the light. Here we have this gorgeous piece of Sailor Neptune. Then we have Setsuna. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And one of my other favorite pieces of artwork. I might as well just say that about every single piece of artwork because all of them are beautiful. This one features Hotaru and she looks absolutely stunning in that dress under that chandelier. So that is a great piece of art. I love it so much. Here is the second set of postcards that I collected. This one features Sailor Mercury. That's another piece of art that I love. We have this one, a beautiful, beautiful piece of Sailor Mars, Ray, and a bunch of Sakura trees in her Shinto priestess outfit. This one of Makoto. She looks so cute. And we have this one of Mina, Minako, Sailor Venus. And last but not least, we have a set of three. So this postcard set only had three, and this set was 1540 yen. Uh, compared to the ones with four postcards, which were 1760. So in this one, we have Usagi and she almost has brown hair. I've always felt like this piece of artwork was very, very unique. We have this one of Chibiusa looking super cute and this stunning piece of a handsome, very, very handsome Mamoru, Mr. Chiba Mamoru. He looks good. <laughs> I wonder what he's reading. He's always been so studious and smart. I wonder what book that is. Okay, those postcards are really cool. The clear files and the posters were awesome as well, but I had to get me some stickers. These are some really cute stickers which feature all of the Sailor Guardians, including the Starlights. Now you will notice that the artwork on these not only matches what you can find in the art book, but it also matches the Aurora keychains that I was picking up at the Sailor Moon store. So I did end up getting all 10, uh, 13? How many are there? 10, I feel like there's 13 of these. I did end up getting all of those keychains, so now I have matching stickers to go with them. These do have a clear border around them, so they'll be perfect for sticking on like your laptop 
or the back of your cell phone, pretty much wherever you want to put them. But at the same time, I don't know if I actually want to use them because they're so pretty. This seal sheet or the stickers is 990 yen. Okay, I pulled this piece out and I was like, what is this? It's so heavy. And it took me a moment to remember what I had purchased. Now this was the most expensive piece that I had purchased from the Sailor Moon exhibit and had my friend pick up in Tokyo. This is 69.30 with tax. That's 6,930 yen. And this is actually an acrylic block. It's an art block. It's made fully out of acrylic and it matches a piece of artwork that I have hanging up on my wall that I had purchased through the fan club. So here's the art block. So you can actually just set this down on your desktop or on a table and it looks really beautiful. It's extremely clear. It's very, very clear. So the print on this is really, really good and it looks amazing. I love how shiny it is. I love how vibrant it is. And this is such a cool piece of all the Sailor Guardians, except for the Starlights. They're not included on this piece. Now, I don't wanna get a bunch of fingerprints on this, so I'm not gonna be touching it all over because it is made of acrylic, but it's very heavy. So you could almost use this thing as like a paperweight if you wanted to. And it does sit down really nicely on a table. So it works really well. I would be careful with it though, because acrylic does tend to scratch. So once I set this up in my collection room, I ain't never gonna touch it. Okay, so that is everything that I had purchased and had my friend pick up from Tokyo, Japan from the special Artworks Raisonne publication exhibit. If you have any questions about any of these items or you want to see the items that I had ordered from Zen Market, which I haven't gotten shipped from Japan yet, then comment down below. And again, if you have questions about how to purchase from Zen Market, or if you have questions about any of these items here, leave those comments down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe because the clamp exhibition merchandise and that haul and review is coming up very shortly. So stick around for that video and I'll be uploading it soon. Bye y'all.